Good morning, everybody, and welcome to Winning on Wednesdays. Uh, my name is Robin Shatskin, and I am the guest co-host this morning. I know Juan is there and he's smiling. He gets to be a guest in his house. Good morning, Juan. Good morning. I'm here live in Florida in uh, Cape Kennedy Space Center. Very, very cool. We're so on happy vacation. to have you. Would you, would you. would you like to continue or would you like No, us no, take over. I'm on vacation. Don't forget. I just <laughs> to say hello. I got to catch up with my family, but I just wanted to say hello to everybody live from Florida. Have a good day, everybody. Enjoy. Robin, Merrill, thank you so much. You guys are wonderful in the whole entire WOW team. You guys are great. Thank you so much. Have a um, wonderful day. Thanks, Juan. Have fun. Bye-bye. So good morning to everybody. This is this is winning on Wednesdays, our virtual Zoom networking group. Um, I'm so happy to see everybody today. My name is Robin Chatskin, as I said, and I am filling in for Juan today, and I'm happy and a healthy holiday to everybody with me. I have our wonderful team, um, and I'm going to introduce Meryl. Meryl? Hi, I am Meryl Loeschner, a marketing and commercial podcast producer for businesses. Thanks, Meryl. And um, and, and Patty, Patty is not available to be with us today. And Judy Kogan, another one of our member team members is filling in for, for her today. Welcome, Judy. Good morning, good morning. Um, I'm Judy Kogan with J. Grace Consulting. We do assessments to help uh, teams uh, communicate better, to help leaders develop their leadership skills and solopreneurs uh, to really rethink how they're running their business. Um, I am filling in for Patty today. So I am the rule monger. I gave myself that title. Um, so a couple things. First of all, we want to start on time so that we can really be respectful of all the wonderful folks we have here. Um, please be sure that when we're in the main room, you hit your mute button and make sure you keep that on. But when you go into the breakout rooms, obviously we want to make sure you turn that off. Um, in the chat, um, make sure that you, in the, in the breakout rooms, keep your cameras on, the energy high, no chomping on apples, eggs, matzah, or anything else that crunches away. We want you to be present in the room and converse with people. We're gonna steer clear of negative conversations. That means no talking about what happened with your family this weekend and no talking about politics, things like that. Really please be, pay attention to the time. Um, I believe we're gonna have a timer on um, and we wanna make sure that everybody gets to have a chance to speak in the room. So sometimes we go into the rooms and we see somebody that we know and we really wanna chat with them, but this goes quickly. So make sure everybody has a chance to speak. Um, our goal, of course, you all know, is to leave the group feeling inspired and encouraged. And so please do whatever you can to make sure that the other people that are sharing the breakout rooms with you have that feeling as well. Um, we're growing. Uh, so the wow wave at the end. Um, this is not a time to say, I had a one-on-one. -on -one. We know you had on one-on-one. -on -one. You should be having one-on-ones. It's not the time to say that, but this is the time to thank anybody who's really gone above and beyond for you. Maybe um, you know they gave you a connection. Maybe you've done some business with them. Maybe they introduced you to something that you've not heard of before, things like that. Um, please do not promote your business or announce events during that time. It's, it's not what it's for. Um, Juan, Robin, Merrill, they all know that you love them. Um, please, uh, that's not the time for it either. Put it in the chat, right? They love seeing that stuff. Put it in the chat. Uh, Juan will be able to, re uh, to review that when, when we send that out. Um, one of the key goals, right, is one-on-one. -on -one. So make sure you're sharing your information. Make sure you're reaching out to people afterward. Um, and uh, use the member list to be able to set up those one-on-ones. That's where the really, really good stuff happens. So finally, let's explode this. Like us on Facebook, subscribe to the YouTube channel, uh, which is Winning on Wednesday Business Network. Join the WhatsApp group, send out notifications, invite people that you think would be good members here. And uh, thank you for being part of this today. Have a wonderful networking. Thank you so much, Judy. So, um, is Eric, I, I don't know, do I see Eric here this morning? Eric Koppelman, are you here? So we did it, we, I, I, I don't know that I see him here. So we, um, as you guys, I don't know if you know anybody that's new here, we have a new uh, channel on Eric's morning show. It's called um, Wow AM. 
And this morning um, in, in Juan's absence, I was um, able to be the co-host of WOW AM and our guest was Sharon Davis, who is here. Um, we're gonna, I'm, I'm gonna have Sharon speak a little bit because um, with number one, we wanna make sure that you guys know that you're gonna be able to hear all of the things that are on WOW AM in a recording. You'll, I'm gonna try to start sending that out so that everybody has the opportunity. The other thing is that Sharon is doing an event that I think can help a lot of people here. So I'm gonna introduce Sharon Davis. Um, Sharon, why don't you tell everybody a little bit about what the event is that you're doing and uh, you know what the opportunities are for WOW members. Okay, good morning all. And Robin, thank you for this opportunity. Um, uh, this morning, that it was a pleasure to be on the air with Robin and Eric. And I was able to talk about something that's available to for the employee retention credit. And um, it does, it's a similar stimulus package for small businesses. And it's a financial shock in the arm that you can get. A lot of people confuse it with the PPP. Um, but it's not PPP. If you apply for PPP, you can still apply for the employee retention credit. I've helped some of my clients, and we're seeing substantial amounts of money being uh, distributed to them. So I did want to have, I'm having a seminar on May 13th, just an informational seminar, it's information without obligation, but there's a lot of misconceptions about what's going on. So I'm sponsoring that on May 13th at the Four Point Sheridan in Plainview from 12 to 1.30, it's a lunch. There are some criteria. First of all, you have to have W-2 employee in order to apply for the grant. So I think that's about it. I would like for you all to come. WOW members get priority. Go on to my website. The RSVP is right there on the website under the Employee Retention Credit tab. So I look forward to your support. I look forward to helping you. And you know, I, there's a lot of money out there that's on the table, so we don't want to leave it on the table. We want to put it in somebody's pocket. All right, thank you, Sharon. So, um, Meryl, why don't you remind everybody what the question of the week is? The question of the week is, what is the most out of the box thing you've ever did to grow your business? Okay, so here we go into our first breakout room. So it looks like we still have some people here in our room. Yeah, if people have like answered a phone call or. Gotcha, they're not going back into the rooms, okay. Right. No, it's all good. So, so far so good, huh? Yep. I don't think you're a human, so you are. Should I admit Virginia? Yes, please. Okay. Do we want to continue? Hi, Virginia. Hi, <laughs> how are you? Would you like us to put you into a breakout room? Okay, I can barely hear you. I don't, can you see me? Cause can you no, see me? No, no. Your, your camera's not on. Your camera's not on. I don't know how to, I don't know how to fix this. Oh God. Are, are you on your computer or on your phone? I mean, I can see you guys, but I, but you can't see me, right? Right. Are you on your phone or a computer? On my phone, because my computer is not working either. I don't ah. know. 
Okay. Yeah. No, because your your phone on your uh, your camera on your phone is is not activated for Zoom. All right. Let me see if I can fix this. Okay. <laughs> okay. This okay. this is the place to do it. Because. <laughs> Absolutely. Or you can jump or, off and jump back on again. <laughs> or, or not. No, it's great. So. Um, and I think Barbara was doing something with her dog. <laughs> ah, okay. I think she, I think she, uh, she left something in the chat. Yeah. Okay. Here comes Virginia again. Let's see if this works. Okay. There's you. Hi, Virginia. <laughs> Hi. Um, do you want to you want to go into a room for a couple of minutes or you want to hang out here with us for a little while? Um, the, the question of the week, Meryl? Yep. Uh, the question of the week was, what's one of the most out of the box things you ever did to try to grow your business? Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> So why don't, why don't you share with us? So, so I, I was telling Meryl, I brought an alpaca to a, to a um, bridal, to a, actually to a travel show with a sign around and said, you know, alpaca my bags. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and it, it, def it definitely brought people over to my booth. Mm -hmm. Wow. Um, let me see. I, I really haven't done anything out of the ordinary. Well, could. is there anything you wanted to try, but you were a little scared to try? Yes. Um, <clears throat> usually I, I wanted to like hang out my car, you know, like just hang them and uh, give it, give them to people. Uh, the last time I went to an event, but I was, you know, I'm like, I'm shy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I just gave it to the people that were in, in the, um, in, on the table mm -hmm. sitting around me. Well, yeah. one of the ways I found to break the ice, especially if you'd like to hand out cards, is saying, you know, I'm thinking of getting my card reprinted. This is what it looks like now. Do you have any suggestions? No, that's a good, that's a good one. Because, <laughs> uh, yeah, the first live networking event I went to 10 years ago, I walked in, looked at 200 strangers, turned around and had a panic attack in my car. <laughs> so I understand the, the, the shy thing because, yes, I'm shy around people I don't know. But, yeah, that if you find just start doing one on ones with people and that's an icebreaker, it's either comment on the food, comment on like, wow, great tie. Where did you get those shoes? Or. I, I, I'm asking people, like I said, I'm, 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 what do you think of my card? I'm thinking of redoing it. I'm not sure I like the colors. What do you think? People always like to feel like you're smart. I'd like your opinion on something. Good morning, Joe. Welcome. Good morning. Mm -hmm. uh, are you going to turn your camera on so we can see your handsome face? There you go. My workout, my, my home office and workout face. Oh, right? gotta love it. Gotta love it. So. Yeah. Yeah, we have just a few more minutes. The question of the week is what is the most um, creative or out of the box thing that you've ever done to promote your business? I sent, I sent out pink postcards that look like the old memo, uh, old messages, remember oh, yeah. message pads? Mm -hmm. I sent them out, you know, uh, missed, missed your call, RE Financial Services. I got yep. the best response to a mailing I ever had in my mm -hmm. life. Yep. I looked like they literally were just three by five postcards. Mm -hmm. I did the mailing and I did it very targeted. Uh, and the response was off the grid. I, what, what were we supposed to talk about? You know, got mm -hmm. a lot of people. Yeah. Now, unfortunately, that, you know, that was back, that was back in the 90s. So <laughs> what are you doing now? Well, you probably could because direct mail is starting to come back because uh, a lot of people are just not reading their emails anymore. So you have a better I chance am, of surprising. I am, back, I am back to using it. The company is in California. It's called SmartZip. Mm -hmm. While it's a realtor-based company, you can use it for anything. Yep. Uh, and the mailings are stupidly cheap. Yep. Stupidly cheap. Absolutely. Right. Also, great. So, welcome back, everybody. How was that? Did everybody? Wow! Have a good time? Wow! Yeah, awesome. <laughs> Hopefully, we'll have some really interesting ideas that people will be able to share with each other. We so only had two people in our room. Oh, oh well. <sighs> yeah, sometimes sometimes that happens. 
Right now, it looks like it's a mix between two and uh, three and four. So we're right. talking for you, Norman. That's all. <laughs> yeah, no, it's it's all good. So Meryl, this a couple of people came in um, recently. Recently, mm -hmm. let's let's talk about what is the question of the week. Question of the week is what is the most out of the box thing you ever did to grow your business? And okay, we are going to send you out now. Hey, Bill. Uh, good morning, Meryl. Good morning. Were you running late or did you end up jumping out of a meeting? <laughs> uh, running late. <laughs> okay. Well, we've only got about another minute and a half in the breakout room. So you and I can just chat a bit and then we'll centrifuge you off to a new meeting room once everybody's back. Centrifuge me up. <laughs> 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 that's an interesting word <laughs> yeah so uh, you're um yeah once on vacation this week right he's down in florida he actually logged in for a bit he's hanging he's hanging out at the nasa space center and show, showing the rockets he was walking around 
Oh, oh, that, that's pretty neat. I mm-hmm. thought he was going to Disney. It's that a- that was part of it too. He's he's down there all week, so they think they did Disney for one or two days, and then they're doing NASA and and other bits. So. Mm-hmm. You know, we told them all about the snow up here. Shh, don't tell them it missed Long Island. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I, I was in Manhattan yesterday mm-hmm. and uh, last night. It was freezing. You know, uh, the winds were really kicking up. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. It was. Uh, I had stepped outside a couple of times. I'm like, I'm just really, really glad I'm not like north of Albany, which is getting like a foot of snow. So yeah. I'll, I'll pick up with Drizzly and and brisk rather than you know blizzards yeah but i have to say i i do not remember such a cold end of april mm-hmm. oh, well i know I, I remember a couple of easter blizzards so i'm oh. i'm not, t- not I, I pretty much stop expecting snow sometime mid-may I guess because I went to college in New Hampshire. So snow started a little after the uh, Halloween and would stop a little before Mother's Day. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah. You know what? Uh, you got to look at everything in perspective. Mm-hmm. Okay. We just had the 60 second alert for the breakout room. So people should start wandering through. John, are you with us? Hello. Yes, I'm here. Hi, hi, John. Yes, everybody else should be popping in from the breakout room momentarily. Is your is your camera working? Uh, I'm actually just driving real quick. Oh, so okay. That's yes. I just figured I'd yeah. rather not miss the the audio part at least. <laughs> no, I understand. Please do not crash the car. That is that is bad. <laughs> that is bad networking. <laughs> yep, definitely. But I I will say I'm using my uh, my AirPods so. Definitely hands free. (laughs) Excellent. Not a problem. Okay. Everybody else is slowly but surely working their way back in. We were just so efficient, we couldn't wait to get back. (laughs) How was that, guys? Wow, wow. Is everybody wow. people wow. making notes on all the and all the special things? Anybody <laughs> learn anything new? Every day, every session. I I, I really find it uh, quite amusing how different people uh, fall into different situations, but everyone makes it work. Yes, that, that amazing. We, we, I've learned we've got some psychotic people in our group. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you know, and 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 there's no there's no judging. We put it out there. So of Meryl, course not. You're right. <laughs> so Meryl, tell us, please remind us again. What is the question of the week? What is the most out of the box thing you've ever done to help grow your business? Okay, well, let's launch. Erica is actually joining us from Panama. Excellent. I had a one-on-one with her yesterday. It was very exciting. Oh, very cool. Yeah, it was extremely cool. But mm-hmm. if you want to go hop into a room. No, I'm good. Okay. It's all good. <laughs> it's all good. Yeah. I'm actually going to run off and do a bathroom break. So I will be back momentarily. Okay. And you can see the picture of Juan. <laughs>
Hey, Jill. Hi, Meryl. Hi, Hello, Robin. Jim. Oh, Robin's got a whole new background going on today. Oh, yeah. It's actually one of my old ones. And I was like, ah, you know what? Because I'm, I'm kind of filling in for Juan today, <laughs> I figured I would put it out there, you know, what I do, so I don't have to talk about it. <laughs> yeah. How was your holiday? Very nice. Thank you. And yours? It was all good. It's, 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 all, it's all good. So the question of the week, Meryl. It's what was one of the weirdest or out of the box things you ever did to promote your business? Yeah, I fail on that question. <laughs> <laughs> well, what's something you always wanted to try was, but was a little scared to? I think I fail on that too. <laughs> well, you know, it's interesting. I'm not one very of, adventurous. Well, you know, it's it's interesting because I'm one of the things that I spoke about in one of the last groups because one of the guys said, I don't ever do anything, you know, I've been doing the same thing for 35 years or whatever. Is, you know, I'm trying to pay attention to what other people are doing that annoys me. Mm -hmm. Like to make sure I don't do that. Mm -hmm. um, or if I am doing that, thinking, oh boy. You know, I didn't realize how annoying that was if I do it, or also to be looking at what other people are doing and appreciating it, you know, and having that's a great jumping off point to say, you know, I got that email that you sent. It was so cool. Mm -hmm. um, Jill, I was telling people that I, I brought alpacas to a, a you know, a, a travel show and it's just that I'll pack them, you know, want to go someplace, I'll pack mm -hmm. them my bags. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it definitely brought people over. I don't know that it's sold any more travel for me, mm -hmm. you know, but um, it's not something I would do again. And I wouldn't recommend somebody <laughs> else doing, but I think that, that we are, people throughout this whole COVID thing, people either fell flat on their faces when it came to creativity mm -hmm. or, oh my God, they pulled these amazing things that maybe they weren't able to do before and have really been doing great stuff. Well, I guess for us, I mean, I don't really need to be that creative because just the mission itself really attracts attention. But so it's more about me, me putting myself out there. So, you know, um, I'm, and if you heard this story before, you could tell me to stop. But, you know, I went to a big one of the first big events that post, you know, mm -hmm this year and it was 250 people at the business council of westchester and they were celebrating new year's eve in march mm -hmm. and it was dark and it's 250 people of which i maybe know or have spoken to five of them and it was very loud because it's supposed to be a big party and it's very hard to network in a loud noisy mm -hmm. dark party and i was like I really wanted to turn around and go home. And instead, I just looked for the largest group of people I can find that looked like they were having a good time. And I usually start off with the men. Mm -hmm. And I say, excuse me, do you allow women here? And mm -hmm. I just infiltrate whatever mm -hmm. group it was. And for the women, if I see a bunch of women laughing, I'm like, oh, I want to be in on the action. So mm -hmm. it's about inserting yourself in places that don't feel comfortable. That mm -hmm. turned into a really nice count, actually. That's, oh, that's awesome. That's terrific. Mm -hmm. No, I actually enjoy seeing um, the, 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 the email or the, the post that you put up about the treats, you know, about, about the, you know, because we know that you do the embroidery and everything else, but I always like the fact that every once in a while I'm reminded about the other things that are going on. Oh, and they're so good too. <laughs> It's like very dangerous mm -hmm. and I know where they put the rejects and they are, taste just as good as the pretty ones. <laughs> my my mother-in-law used to tell me that she always loved being the cookie monitor and oops she would always drop everything because the cookie monitor got to eat the broken cookies. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so well welcome back everybody how was that? The wowest. The wowest <laughs> it's awesome. So this is one of our favorite times um we're going to be able to go into uh, some choosing your breakout rooms. Um, so Jill, do you want to tell everybody about how they're going to be able to do that? Sure. So for those of you who are not familiar, if you scroll down to the bottom of your screen, I believe that Robin will um, make this happen for us. You will eventually see four little squares. Robin, I don't see them yet. Yep. Um, Meryl's on, Meryl's right on now. it. Oh, okay. Sorry. Yep. <laughs> 
Okay. Let participants. Okay. There we go. Recreate. There we go. Okay. And Meryl, you want to just remind everybody one more time about for anybody that, that has forgotten what the question of the week is. The question of the week is what is one of the most interesting or out of the box things you ever did to promote yeah. or grow your business? Yeah. Okay, it's so nice. I still don't see it, and I didn't give the rest of the explanation because I don't oh, want to. Yeah, no, I, don't, I don't see it either. Let's, Let's see. see. There we go. Okay, there we go. So uh, down, there at the, you go. down at the yeah. bottom of your screen, you'll see four little squares, and it says breakout room. So for those who are feeling bold and empowered, you can just click on join a room, and it could be empty and let other people find you. Or if you're looking to speak to someone specifically, wait till that person joins a room and then join that room. And if you have any problems with any of this, Meryl will put you in a room herself. Wahahaha. <laughs> so <laughs> click on the box and click join now and uh, have a good time. Okay. Thanks, Jill. Meryl, that, laugh, that laughter was so appropriate. <laughs> <laughs> How you doing? Yeah. There. Here we are. Yeah. yeah. Robin. Yes, sir. I have a question. Did we have a conversation a couple of months back about pickleball? Yes, we did. Do we need to follow up on that? Um, we do, but after um, in the middle of May, because I'm right now, I'm in destination wedding mode. So I am, I, I can't focus on it, but we are definitely gonna have a conversation when I get back, um, like right before Memorial Day. I'll put it on my calendar. We'll, I'll schedule it's something with you. Friendly calendar. Have you been playing? No, not at all. But I have a bunch of people who play. Oh, awesome. All right, Robin, I'm hanging out because I'm in de I, am in, I am in wedding mode also. <laughs> you are? Are you getting married? No, my daughter is. Congratulations. When is she getting married? It's actually, uh, it is actually August 27th. It is a destination wedding, which I'm not excited about, but it, it's really becoming an overall event. It's up in Portland, right? But this weekend is the bridal shower. Very so I have, the, I have the champagne bottles. I have all the other stuff sitting. And of course, I, we're doing it at a restaurant, right? Uh, a local restaurant that has to, but she is getting married. She's 30, you know, she's in her mid thirties. Uh, mm -hmm. Didn't expect her to. And she, it's an all out thing. Right? It's, it's, that's wonderful. You know, so yeah, my two, I have, I have a couple getting married Friday in Dominican Republic. So I have, I'm dealing with, with that. I'm not being there is always a challenge for me. And then I am doing a wedding on May, a month, exactly a month from today in Jamaica. And um, yesterday was my, was my, well, we'll you know, it was, it was a month to my anniversary. My husband and I are renewing our vows and my daughter's giving me away. She's, she and her boyfriend are coming down to Jamaica. She's giving me away. She's very excited about the concept of giving me away. And um, her boyfriend is a stand up comic. So he's actually going to be the officiant of the, of the renewal. So it should be interesting. And then my couple who is getting married the next day are standing up for me as my, you know, my, my witnesses, witnesses. Mm -hmm. you know, so it's all one big love fest and I will be, um, you know, coming in. And the, the cool thing was on Monday, I picked up, I had my bouquet for the wedding made out of my wedding gown. Oh, I have a floral company in Manhattan that actually made the flowers for my bouquet out of my wedding gown. So I'll be able to have it because it was 1985, you know, bad hair, bad fashion. <laughs> so that's nothing's going to happen. But how are you feeling about all of this, Joe? I'm, I'm very, very happy. Uh, lots of things, you know, it, it's it, lots of things. I, you know, this, they met in uh, Newport, uh, excuse me, in Portland. They met up there. It, the, I'm going to give you a, a one part of the wedding, though, is the wedding is actually in a very small country club in a very small community called Bitterford Pool, Maine, right? So everything is going to be bussed in from Portland, all right? The issue is there is no parking. So like my, my relatives, you know, the older people that are used to driving, there is no parking. 
It is literally in a multi-million dollar community on the water in Maine, right? That that there's no parking. So I'm still trying to work with my daughter to say, you know, we're gonna have, you know, no, no. She's telling me nobody can drive. I said, that's not gonna be the answer. I said, we've got to give directions to where they can park and create a shuttle bus. I mean, the buses are coming in from Portland. That that's already set, but the other part. Uh, but that's that side. So yes, it, and then the other reason I hung out in this room is Merrill, I've been trying to send you a message, but every time you cheat, every time I get three quarters of the way, you break, you change the breakout rooms and it, <laughs> and it disappears. I'm a fat finger typist. I'm not a typist. I, I, I back away. Right, on oh yeah. I, 20 words a minute, 10 words each finger. I understand. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> if I, all right. On that, on that side. Uh, but no, it's, it's a bunch of things that I'm looking at. Uh, and I will say I've started to work towards is some uh, podcast productions. Excellent. So yeah. need to maybe retain or talk to you a little bit more about that. Absolutely. Down to, point, down to the point I bought a better camera. I'm not using a computer, you know, the uh, laptop camera. Excellent. I, bought a logo, I bought a logo tech to make things a little bit better. And mm -hmm. I do have a tripod and the lights to go with it. Perfect. No, absolutely. Yeah. If you look at my contact information I put in the chat, one of the mm -hmm. things is my calendar link. You can just pink on that. Although starting next Wednesday, the 27th, I am heading toward Portland, Maine, because I'm running a conference up in Portland. So I will be gone 11 days. So I'll be gone from the okay, 27th to, oh, it's the one of the hotels next to the, the airport. It's a big convention of board gamers. So I'm I'm part of the board, part of the pun, board of that. Board of the board gamers. <laughs> and then I'm hanging out with friends in New Hampshire. And then I have another conference on Cape Cod the weekend after. So I'm just going to be. You hit, the... all three, you hit all three places that we go. Uh, <laughs> I used to go to the lake region in New Hampshire. Mm -hmm. uh, the main thing is is new for the last five, six years. And that's mm -hmm. how long she's been doing. Right. Uh, and the Cape is the Cape. Um, yeah you know, on that side, but we have a lot of people that are going to go up to the wedding that are going to mm -hmm. spend, you know, make it a New England trip. It's just, yeah. it is, it is the last week of August before Labor, uh, before Labor Day, and it is the most expensive week to travel. Yep. All right. All right. We, we're getting killed with people that couldn't get into the blocks of rooms mm -hmm. and our block is like 240 a night. Now mm -hmm. it's 600 a night. <sighs> yeah, that sounds about right. So wel welcome back, everybody. How was that for everyone? Great. Pretty good. good. We had a we had an experience in our group. All five of us have birthdays in April. Oh, Happy, nice. birthday, Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Yeah, it's my daughter. It's my Happy daughter's birthday. birthday today. Yeah, maybe it was a Maybe it was a quarantine. I don't I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. No, it's the first, it's the first cold days of, of August and September. Yep. That's what it is. Mm. And so the conception would be in July if you're yep. born in April. So very patriotic group, a very yep. patriotic group of parents. R Robin, I think we have enough time for one more breakout room Absolutely. before we does start that, turning does down. Everybody, everybody knows the question of the week. Yep. You should have been practicing it the entire time. So what is the most out of the box, unique thing that you ever tried to do to grow your business and did it work or not? So back off to the breakout rooms.
How you doing, Meryl? Doing good. Welcome back. Yeah. Everyone should be one, wandering in. One on vacation. Yep. He's down in Florida with the kids and Disney and NASA and all sorts of. Oh, good for him. Sun and fun. Good for him. Well, welcome back, everybody. Hopefully, you had a great. You know, how was that? How was that? Everybody had a good, a good last meeting for Very the day. Good. Wow. Yeah. Right. Awesome. So we, we're we're heading to the to the um the favorite part where we're going to do the wow wave. So um, I'm trying to see who's who's here to to tell everybody how you can do that. Is our well at this point we should hope everyone knows. If you look down at the bottom of your Zoom screen, you'll see something that says reactions. If you click on reactions, one of the reaction is raise hand. So if you would like to comment, please raise your hand and Robin and company will explain the rules. I will be happy to re-explain the rules. So I want to remind everybody, this is not the time to say I had a one-on-one. -on -one. This is the time to thank anybody who's really gone above and beyond. It is also not the time to uh, promote your business or an event that's coming up, anything like that. Please just put that in the chat um, and Robin back to you. Okay. So um, Craig, I see your hand is raised. Yes, it is. Um, I wanted to thank first and foremost, uh, Howie Mann. I don't know if he's still here or not. Uh, but we made a connection and um, I'm not helping him out personally, but his daughter is a photographer and we've connected and I've got an event from that. Uh, that was a really amazing connection. Thank you for that. And I also want to thank uh, my new personal favorite lawyer, Tony, uh, who has helped me start a new business uh, and a new app. Um, and so he, he's just been uh, over the wall. Uh, amazing. And uh, so thank you, Tony. Uh, I'm forever in your debt. Uh, I sent you over the money, by the way. Anyway. <laughs> Thanks, Craig. Lisa. Oh, yeah. Okay. Um, we had Frank do on our uh, YouTube video series, and he did great. Great executive business coach and really enjoyed his presentation. And I'm looking forward to having Tony on our business intelligence forum in a couple weeks. So thank you. Awesome. Um, no, um, let's see. Norman. Yeah, you have to unmute yourself. Okay, I'm unmuted. Um, I want to thank Lisa for being on our broad TV podcast show a week or two ago. And I want to thank uh, Jonathan Horn. Uh, he's going to be coming on in May. And also, we're going to have WOW on our podcast. We're, we're waiting for Robin to come back to me with a date. And WOW is going to be on the Business Pow Wow with Darren and the Music Man. Thank you. Thanks, Norman. Um, Judy. Oh, no, just a thumbs up for wow being on the, the show. Okay. So I, you know, I, I, I would like to also do a shout out to Sharon Davis for being on our show this morning. She was a great, um, it, certainly a great interview. Um, and it was a lot, it was a lot of fun and, uh, thank you for sharing all of your information about the event for you. Um, it, you know, I, I ho I'm hoping that everybody really got the opportunity to get some cool new ideas for, you know, from WOW today. Um, Eric, I spoke with Erica yesterday in Panama. Um, welcome, you know, welcome Erica. If anybody, um, she, she, and Erica, I know you and I spoke that you were gonna be putting some stuff in there. So we just show that WOW does actually work. Um, just a reminder to everybody also that now um, the Long Island Morning Show is now going to be WOW AM on Wednesdays. So if anybody is interested in finding out more about WOW AM and how they can be on WOW AM, um, please let me know. Um, keep, you know. Keep your eyes open for the emails. We're going to try to do some stuff to give everybody the opportunity to have their moment. Um, and thank you to everybody who has been so supportive. Sharon, I see your hand is up. Yes, I just wanted to thank you and Eric for the opportunity this morning to be interviewed. I, as you know, I'm a nervous wreck when it comes to that, but you guys really made me feel comfortable and I appreciate it. And uh, again, about the uh, seminar on the 13th, if anybody wants to come, WOW members will get priority. 
Just go onto web, my website and RSVP right on the website, sjedwards.com. Thank you. Okay, awesome. So Meryl, anything, any closing remarks or anything important that you would like to share with everybody? I think we are all set. I will actually be missing the next two weeks with a vacation of my own. Of course, me being me, instead of heading south to Florida, I'm heading north to Maine, New Hampshire and the Cape because, you know, April is an always good time to do that sort of trip. Hopefully no more unexpected blizzards. Other than that, I will see you all when I get back. Awesome. And Judy, would you like to just, because we have a couple of minutes, just talk about the new feature that's going to hopefully start sometime in the next meeting or two. Yeah, we're going to be adding poll questions, um, at least one during each session. And so if you have any suggestions on questions, uh, email me, I will be monitoring that. Um, but I think it'll be really interesting to get some feedback from folks on how they're using WOW and how they're growing their business. And some of those questions might be about personal people and things and questions about them. So do your one-on-ones and make sure that everybody has that information. Um, and Judy, what is that email just so that everybody has it so that they can get to you? Absolutely. I'm putting it in the chat as well. It's Judy, J-U-D-I at jgraceconsulting.net. Um, and the only reason it's net is because I couldn't get calm. I'm sorry. Uh, so uh, yeah, and uh, from all of us, Meryl, travel safe um, and uh, enjoy your well-earned vacation. Absolutely. Um, yeah, and, and be sure to schedule your one-on-ones. It really is where the good stuff happens. No, absolutely. So for all of you who, are who have birthdays in the month of April, happy birthday. Um, yeah, Amy, you too. Amy, when is your birthday? April 24th. Wow, okay. And who, mine was who the else 15th. is here with an April birthday? April, woohoo. Judy, when is yours? It was the 15th. Ah, so happy, happy. Thank you, thank you. you know, mine was you the 12th. April birthday and you get an April birthday and you get an April birthday. <laughs> uh, and you get one and you get one and you get one. <laughs> I would have so, loved to have one. Mine's in February. Do you know how many times as a kid my birthday was canceled? Oh, no. <laughs> All right. Okay. April and March babies have a problem with the holidays. Then mm -hmm. you have to cancel your birthday. So I hear that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, my daughter's, my daughter's birthday is today, and people were bringing me chocolate-covered matzah in the hospital, which is not what you want to see. <laughs> <laughs> but everybody have an amazing day. Um, thank you for coming to WOW. We're so happy to see you guys. And we will see you next week. Have a Happy great Passover. week, everybody. Yep. Have, Have a great week. Bye. 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 Have a great time going ahead and watching uh, your team in the playoffs. <laughs> <laughs> We're